Um, we're rolling. You're rolling. Yeah, we're, I'm rolling. Rolling, I, yeah. rolling. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here we are, Barry. Yes, yes, we are again, Jeff. With a movie that we made 25 years, 26 years ago. How long was that? We were both kids. Isn't that something? Oh man. Jeff was a very young guy. He had two scary dogs when I used to have. Remember those dogs? Oh, oh man. Oh. I could tell you terrible stories about really? that dog. Oh, man. Yeah. Reefer. Really? That so, was his name. the scariest part of making this movie was for me to go visit Jeff and go through Reeker, Reefer. <laughs> and the other one. And Jeff would come out and say, Oh, uh, man, well, the other one's like, a piece of cake. Come take. on, oh. right. You're a piece of cake. And I'd be petrified. So. Oh, yeah. But you made it. We're here. Yeah, we are. We're still alive. See, a lot of people our age, my age, you know, I'm older than Jeff. I'm about five or six years older than Jeff. Still don't have anything left. They never did early things that they gave their whole creative impulses to. And Jeff has always done that. <laughs> really. This must have been so exciting for you to uh, get the news that they were going to re-release this thing on DVD and maybe even uh, a theatrical release. Is yeah, it looks like it, it looks like it's going to be, Anchor oh, Bay is going to do it on DVD and it looks like the American Cinematheque may release it in theaters and it never really got its own release. It never really got a shot mm. at that. But one of the things I want to say with Jeff here is that the whole time that this movie happened, when other people were all despairing, when people were saying, oh man, it shut down, or you ran, because in Hollywood, and you're on a roll, and we look like we're on a roll, all the biggest people in town, and all of a sudden it was shut down, and all the phone calls stopped being returned, and people weren't happy to talk to you again, you know? They were thinking, what did you do to us? Jeff never for one second was anything less than 100% there. Just like he is now. Well, it was play. It was like ditching your friend. You're in the middle of a friend. You had a good time. They That's said, right. You want to? Do you want to come out and play some more? Yeah. Well, sure. You know. You're That's gonna have right. is, is is Bill Moss gonna be there? Sure. All the guys. Gonna be, yeah. How can you resist something like that? Now, did you tell about uh, Sterling and Gold? I told them the whole <laughs> you got, thing. You got into all that. Oh yeah. Because what was going on behind the scenes, and maybe part of re the reason why nobody was returning your phone calls. <laughs> is that uh, a lot of the uh, money that uh, funded our venture was uh, cocaine money, was No, it? actually it was marijuana. Oh, was it marijuana? Yeah, no, oh, they, they were coke it. dealers. They were marijuana. It was pot dealers. Oh, God. And actually, the guy who, one of those guys who got out of Ossining after 12 years in jail. I mean, jail, can you imagine their names? Sterling and Gold. That's like something out of a movie. If you saw that in a movie, you'd say, come on, let's name them something realistic. Sterling and Gold. And that, that, that was the name of the company. That was the name of the company. One guy ended up uh, getting tied up in his bed and shot through the head, and the other guy's right. in prison for the rest of his life. He's right? out now. And He's I asked out, him. Oh, oh, oh maybe I said, we shouldn't be saying No, no, no. I asked him. I asked him. I said, Bob, can I, Bob, uh, first of all, Bob has told me that he got a piece of paper that he's now forever out of any problem. That he's, he's finished Wonderful. his probation. He believes that one of the reasons he was sent to Ossining is because he produced Winter Kills, he said. But before that, what he wanted to do was do these movies, and he wanted to do conspiracy movies. Oh, maybe he'll do some more. So, you know, know. so yeah, often in movies, don't you think, God, wouldn't it be great if we just turn the camera around and shoot? The all real the time. Life. The all real, the time. you know, all, well, I don't know about all the time, but <laughs> you know, the light, you know, the stories that are around and the stories of getting movies made, this is certainly one that would make a movie in itself. I mean, the, all the stuff and the intrigue. Oh, the behind the scenes was just oh as amazing God. in a way as How did it on. feel to go to all these great actors? How, like, how did it feel to go to pitch to Shiro Mifune? Well, first of all, we sent to Shiro because, as you said, he was your servant. Yeah. And he loved the idea. He was approached by saying, as great as the servant is, can you imagine how great the master is? That's so right. okay. Toshiro loved the idea of the powerful servant. He understood the concept of that. Mm -hmm. And he also wanted to work with Jeff Bridges. Come on. This is a true story. Come on. That's true. <laughs> Could be true. <laughs> there you go. No wonder I wanted to work with this guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is the way it was. So tell me about pitching John Huston. Well, I've, you know what? I've already told them all the stuff about oh, John. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Well, but how me... about you saying to me, after the picture was shut down, I talked to my family, and we may be able to help you come up with some money to finish this picture. And then I had to say to you, but it's two or three million dollars. You had no idea of the trouble that we were in. Nobody did. Mm. Because pictures that big are almost thought to be unsinkable. 
with all those stars? Oh, yeah, you That Elizabeth think, Taylor yeah. could be, she, she could have her coat taken back after I gave it to her in front of everybody? Uh -huh, sure. But here we are, after, we, yeah. all, we were young guys. Uh, you were really a young guy. How old were you when you directed that? I have to subtract, let's see, I was born in 42, 50, we did that in 76, it's like 42. But anyway, I was like in 30, my early, early 30s. Early 30s. And you were in your yeah. late 20s, mid, mid to late 20s. God, who are some of the other guys? Thomas Millian. Thomas Millian, who had one scene in the movie and who rehearsed it for four months. Was he, was he and familiar? Who, who, totally. How he wore his wing and the way he turned his ring was everywhere. Oh, and what about, um, you know, what's his name? Bald guy, I uh, worked with Brando, you know. Not Eli Wallach. Yeah, yeah, Eli, Eli Wallach. Wallach. Didn't he play the Mexican in... Uh... Yeah, he did. Sergio Leone movies. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. The Sergio Leone yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Eli Wallach was so Oh, good. yeah, and because I'd seen him on stage. And he was an incredible actor. Then he remembered later on with his check bounce, he said, you wore all those silk shirts. And they bounced my check. <laughs> I mean, you didn't understand it. You know, those silk shirts I had made by the costume guys. Because oh, what did I know? I wanted, you know, God. every opportunity. Oh, but we had so much fun playing. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. And, and you know, and, and, and Jeff never, during the entire thing, because there was a lot of accusations about the, 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 most people only knew me. They didn't know Bob Sterling or Leonard Goldberg. They just knew that Bill Richard got them into this. And there never was one moment over all those periods when Jeff ever mm. said anything about, it. yeah, man. It was well, I had such really? a good time. You know, one of the things that uh, I think probably the most important thing for me, uh, you know, regarding a, a director is the environment that he creates uh, for the actors and all, ev not only the actors, but everybody to do their work in. And your environment uh, that you created was so much fun. You know, we had, we had such a good time and, uh, and such you know great camaraderie and and um, an open an openness you know a lot of uh, first time directors although no, I shouldn't say a lot because I've had really great luck with first time guys uh, but often you know when you're kind of a little bit insecure you're not quite you know sometimes that manifests itself in being very you know kind of protective Intense, and tight you know you, and, the, and the, yeah the st a strictness like you know, we don't have any time to do your idea or you know but you would always like you know allow you know, all kinds of, you had, you, you had the feeling that we had all the time in the world, we, you know, and we're here to uh, create, and we don't want to, uh, you know, uh, stifle that in any way. So if you have any ideas, I, I want to know them, you know, and we would play and have come up with oh, ideas. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. It was just great. And you come up with, you know, wonderful stuff that way. It's a performance, Jeff's performance in this movie, which I just saw the other day, like, you know, f for the first time in really maybe God, it could be 20 years that I haven't watched the movie because there's a certain amount of pain when I see it and I think, oh, wow, if only it had come out or, you know, I see JFK and these other movies mm -hmm. that are similar to that and just think this movie also had those qualities but it was never seen and because it never had, you know, any real money behind it or any real st studio behind it. But when I watched Jeff's performance in it, that's one of the other things that's kind of unfair is that it wasn't really seen. Every little moment, and I still say this, what I was telling you then, it was magical. Just every little second that was there, you were there. I told these guys earlier. It's, you didn't have to, you know, you came from, you didn't have to work as an actor. You didn't have to make a living doing that. But you worked harder than anybody else. <laughs> I thank you even to this day. All right, Daddy. It's great to be here. It's great and, to be to here. To reminisce on this yeah. stuff. Great. <laughs> hey, take two. Take two. We'll give you another one. We'll give you another one. This is going to be, this one's a little more romantic. Shucks. Okay, now we're going to get, now we're going to butch it up for you. Hey. Hey, hey man. Hey. Okay. <laughs>